Good morning or afternoon, everyone. My name is Jeremy Walsh, and I'm the Director of Support, Training, and Documentation for BNI Connect. I'd like to welcome everybody to the webinar today. Uh, today's webinar titled is uh, Building VCP with BNI Connect, and what we're going to be talking about today is really how to fill out your profile in BNI Connect. I'm going to show you all the different places that your profile is accessible, both to other members in BNI as well as people around the world that might just be searching for you or might be looking on a regional or national BNI website um, and how that can help to generate hopefully business for you as well. Before we get started, a couple of uh, housekeeping things about the webinar. Today's webinar is a live webinar, and what that means is that if you have any questions as we're going through anything today, please do feel free to ask them. I love to answer questions, and the way to do that is by typing your question into the questions panel here in the GoToWebinar software. It'll pop up on my screen, and I'll be able to answer that as we're going along, or if it's an unrelated question, I'll leave plenty of time at the end for that as well. Today's content is scheduled for about 30 minutes worth of information, so we like to keep these short and sweet so that people can get right back to their busy days and on to what they were doing before and growing your business. That being said, if there are questions, I am always happy to stay on these webinars as long as you guys need to in order to get those questions answered. Um, this webinar is also being recorded, so we will be recording everything, including any questions at the end. Um, it will be made available in a couple of different places. The best way to get to the recordings is to first you can click on this question mark here in BNI Connect. And if you click on that question mark, that will bring you over to our support site. On the support site, you'll see all our, our upcoming webinars listed, as well as in the chapter training and documentation section, there is a list of recording webinar, recorded webinars, and they're done month by month. You can see them all broken out and be able to review any one of them. They're all hosted also on our YouTube channel. If you go to youtube.com forward slash BNI Connect Global, you'll see all of our videos up there. That includes all of the recorded webinars, but also some additional material. We have a ton of things like educational moments and special messages from Dr. Meisner. And as we're putting out new releases for BNI Connect, some uh, new release functionality and, and walkthroughs and guides and things like that. So please do check out our YouTube channel as well. All right, so let's get into the subject matter at hand today, and that is building VCP through BNI Connect. And VCP, as hopefully everybody knows, is visibility plus credibility equals profitability. And that's what we're doing in BNI Connect, and BNI Connect can help you with that by making your profile visible to many, many more people. Um, there's nothing that will ever replace the in-chapter networking, but this can really take your network and bring it outside of the walls of your chapter, both on a regional level with all the other chapters and members that are local in your area, but also on a global level. Now, I'd like to share a quick story with you. A while ago, I was sitting in my office, and a client of mine from my regular business came in. And I am a BNI member, by the way. I've been a BNI member since 2002. So I'm always looking to generate referrals as well. And an existing client walked in and said, hey, you know, I, I really need a bookkeeper. Um, you know, I have somebody on staff that helps me out, but they really need to be taught some additional things that uh, they don't know right now. So do you have anybody you can recommend? And, you know, I really, really wanted to use BNI Connect to help establish that relationship and to push it forward a little bit more. So I'm going to, what I did was I went to our regional website. I'm going to go to our test region up in Antarctica, Antarctica, because I don't want to throw anybody under the bus here. But I went to the regional website and I went to find a member and I pulled up their profile, and the profile was fairly empty. Um, so whereas it had their name, it didn't really have a description about their business, it didn't offer any additional information, and this was a fairly full profile, uh, or at least halfway full. There are plenty of members that have even less. Um, just taking a look, if you haven't done anything with your BNI Connect profile, um, more than likely your profile is going to look something more along the lines of this. This is one of my friends up there in Antarctica. His name's Harvey Keitel. And you can see that Harvey hasn't really filled out his profile here. So the visibility is 
kind of there because it's out there on the public website, it can be found in searches, but the credibility really isn't there. Now if you look at somebody that has a more complete profile on the other hand, so let's say I go to my own personal regional website, and I go to BNIRI.com, I'm a member here in Rhode Island, and I'm going to go to find a member and I'm going to search for myself. If I pull up my profile, this is a more complete profile. You can see that it has all my social media links, it has um, the description in my business, it has my ideal referral, my top product, all the different phone numbers to get in touch with me. There's definitely more information in here that can help you build some credibility with your membership. And one thing that you may not know is that this is also searched and indexed by Google. So if I was to, for example, go to google.com, and I'm going to go ahead and just type my name into Google. One thing you can see is that my profile here that is on my chapter web page is the first result on Google. So even though my name is scattered all over the internet through my personal company website, through my profiles on LinkedIn, through my Facebook account, through the YouTube channel, the one that shows up first for me is my BNI Wakefield profile. That's the power of the branding of BNI behind your name. On the inside of BNI Connect, and that, that's the stuff that everybody in the world can see through the regional websites. And if you're on the call here today from the United States, there's also a website, BNIAmerica.com, that also puts your profile up there, along with all the other members from the United States. But on the inside of BNI Connect, in the Members Only section, we can also find people's profiles. If we do that by going to this search button here, the magnifying glass, and we can search for other people here as well. So for example, if I was going to search for Harvey Keitel in here, I could pull up Harvey's profile. And again, he's not sharing much information here. On his internal profile, we can't even see his phone number. So if there was some way I wanted to contact him, I couldn't even do it here through his profile. And I can see he doesn't have any of his bio or his gains profile set up. He doesn't have any, he's not sharing these 60 second presentations. I can see who he's connected to, but it doesn't look like anybody's left him any testimonials. He's not sharing any photos. He's not participating in any groups. So again, these are all things that can help to build your credibility. Now, if we were to look at my profile, I'm just going to click on the profile button down here at the bottom of the page you can see that this is sharing a lot more information. So if somebody searched for me and found me in BNI Connect, they could connect with me, they can see all my roles, they can see all of my different phone numbers, my address. I'm able to share things like my 60-second presentations and my gains profiles, my TOPS profile. Again, people have given me testimonials, so you can read all about the testimonials that people have left for me. I'm sharing some photos and also some written testimonials that I scanned and put up into my photos. You can see the groups that I'm participating in. And as I've gone through trainings, you can see the different trainings that I've participated in as well. So these are all ways in which it helps to build your visibility and credibility. Now, how do we update all this information so that you're sure that all of the information is up there and it's showing in all of the right places? Now, the way to do that is I went back to my home screen here and there's two different ways to access your profile. The first of which is right here on the home screen, you can see that there's a kind of slightly gray bar here, and it says Update Profile My BNI Page. You can click on that link, and that will take you into your profile to make updates. You can also click on Options, My Account. Both of those things will take you to the same place, which is your profile. Now your profile is going to be broken out into a number of different tabs here along the top, so you do need to take some time to go through each of those tabs, and they all hold different pieces of information. So I'm going to go through those tabs here today and give you some hints and tips and tricks on where the things show up and what good information is to put in there. So the top of this is your general information. It's basically your name and your company name. 
it will display your industry and classification and what chapter you're in, what your membership status is, whether you're active or whether you're late. Now, this information can't be changed. And for those of you on the call from the United States, if you're wondering what the VAT reference number is, uh, VAT is a term that stands for Value Added Tax. Um, it's similar to our sales tax ID number that we would have here in the United States if you're a, a small business or a business. In other countries, they sometimes need to record this as part of their public profile. Um, here in the United States, we can simply ignore that field. There's no need to put it on there. Now, down at the bottom is the first couple of fields that you might want to pay attention to in order to put current content in there. The first of which is the My Business description. Now, the My Business description is... I look at it as your elevator pitch. So if you were to think about the next time you're at your chapter meeting and you're at open networking and a visitor comes in and you've never met them before, how would you explain your business to that visitor for the first time? You know, probably just a couple of sentences, maybe a, um, maybe a paragraph, but the fact is that it is written word and a lot of people won't spend a lot of time reading written word up on a website. So you do want to keep it very targeted and very succinct. So I'd say two, three, four sentences is about what you want to put in on your My Business. Now one little secret that not a lot of people know, and you'll see that I did this as an example here, is that you can um, do some formatting in some of these fields, and the My Business field is one of those. So one thing that I was uh, showing here is that you can actually embed a video. So if you wanted to take a video of yourself, doing uh, maybe explaining your business for 30 seconds or something like that, you can put that into the My Business field as well. All you need to do is to host it on a site like YouTube or on um, Vimeo or one of the other sharing sites and grab the embed code and put that right here into the My Business description. And that way when people see your profile, they would actually see a video there. So again, if I was to go up to my profile online here, so I go to BNIRI.com, I'm going to search for myself again. You'll see that rather than having text in here, there is a video that can be played in that field. Now the keywords are the next thing that you want to pay some attention to. And the keywords are really, really important because a lot of times when people are searching for you or they're trying to find you on the public websites, they may not know your name. So that means that they're really searching by your profession and, and or different things about your business. That's where the keywords come in. You definitely want to use things that are descriptive about your business. Uh, one technique is to use different permutations of words. Um, for example, if you are in bookkeeping, uh, you do want to make sure that you put in bookkeeper as well as bookkeeping. It will automatically pick up in the searches your industry and your classification up here. So you do want to complement those, however. So you can see in mine I've put in things like you know software and hardware and server and Windows in order to supplement just the computer services that are up there in the classifications. The other thing that you might want to do in here um, is to put different areas, um, so geographical locations that you might cover. So again, I'm a member here in Rhode Island, and if you know anything about Rhode Island, it is a really, really small state. Uh, it's only about 20 miles wide by about 40 miles long, and what that means is there's a lot of people here in Rhode Island that do business in the nearby states, namely Massachusetts and Connecticut. So if I want to be found for computers in Rhode Island, I'll be found because that's where my address is. But if somebody's doing a search in BNI Connect or on the websites for computers in Massachusetts or Connecticut, where I also do business, I'd also like to be found there. So you can see what I did was I added Massachusetts and Connecticut in here also. Another thing to consider is that it's not just for small states, but for really large states as well. If you happen to live in Texas or Arizona or California, um, you may want to include some of the bigger cities that you would like to do business in, such as San Francisco or Los Angeles or um, 
other maybe small counties that you would like to be found for when people are searching. So I see we have a, a question here. Uh, Pam asks, are there any plans to give director consultants access to my BNI? We also give referrals and do one-to-ones and it would be helpful so that we can experience what our members are experiencing. So it would be helpful for DCs who are not currently members in a chapter. So Pam, I'm going to uh, say that there it's definitely something that's on the radar. So it's not possible right now in BNI Connect. There are a couple of different things that we can do. Uh, we do have a special chapter in our test region in Antarctica where we can give you visibility of how that whole part of the program works. Uh, you could only pass referrals to some of the other directors that are in the Antarctica chapters, um, but it would at least give you the ability to see uh, what other members see and be able to help them out with things like that. So uh, other than that, uh, that is definitely something being considered for a future release, but it's not available right now. Um, does that answer your question, Pam? All right, and again, the same thing goes for San Diego. If you wanted to, um, when, it's, when people are doing a search, it's going to be picking up your, I'm going to skip ahead to the contact details, but it's going to be picking up your city and your state from your contact details here. And the idea is that you may want to supplement that with keywords to be able to be found in other places besides just your address. So does that answer your question there, Pam? So Jennifer asks, um, uh, she needs to follow up after the webinar, uh, but issues that the industry and classification info is wrong. So, um, yes, Jennifer and anybody else, if you're looking at your profile and you see that your industry and classification is wrong here, um, or it's not descriptive enough, what you want to do is definitely contact your director consultant for your chapter or your regional office. They have the ability to change this. Uh, sometimes if it's something that's completely different than what was on your application, you may need to submit another um, application for record keeping purposes um, and or membership committee approval. Um, but that is not something that we can change directly on the front end. It has to go through your regional office in order to change that. Um, and it also be limited to what is available in the system, although there are about 450 different categories um, that are available to choose from. So hopefully that helps, Jennifer. And to be honest, um, the keywords are just as important to fill out as the making sure that the industry and classification is correct. So definitely I wouldn't hold off filling out your profile until that's fixed. I would definitely fill out your profile and supplement it with the keywords. All right, any other questions on the first page here? All right, so let's take a look at the next tab. The next tab over is your user profile. And this is really um, your account settings. So this allows you to, you can change your username, you can change your password. Your username can pretty much be whatever you'd like it to be. It can be your email address, though I recommend that you use something other than your email address uh, because they seem to change very frequently. Um, and same thing with your password. You can set your own password and change it whenever you'd like to. Now the memorable question and answer, this is an important piece because this will allow you to gain entry back into BNI Connect if you happen to forget your password. So how that works is if I was to go to the BNI Connect login page and I forgot my password, I needed to get back into BNI Connect, I could click on forgot my username or password. When I type in my email address and the little CAPTCHA code here, the first thing it's going to do is to, it says it found me, and it's going to ask me what my secret question is. I need to then put the correct answer in and another CAPTCHA code in, and it will allow me to then log into the system with a new password. So make sure that you put something here that's memorable and something that only you would have access to.
The rest of the information here, so the language settings, BNI Connect is translated into about 45 or so different languages, including about a dozen different versions of English. You can choose your time zone, make sure that events and other things are showing up in the correct time zone. And you can also upload your profile image and company logo. To upload a logo or profile image, you can click on the Change Company Logo button, and then click on the magnifying glass. You can go in and choose a new picture. So let's say I wanted to switch to the dark version of my logo. I can do that. I can crop it if I need to. And then click the Save button. And now my new logo will appear on the profile. So Jennifer says it would be great to know the ideal specs for image uploads. Um, so the ideal specs, what I can tell you is that they, it's, it's a maximum of 5 megabytes for the file. Um, I find that the PNG files tend to work better. It's a pretty small image that's up there, um, so it doesn't have to be super, super, super high resolution. Um, but anything, the only limitation that I know of right now is that JPEGs with a transparent background don't seem to, uh, to work properly. So um, I don't have the dimensions of these two offhand, but if you send an email to support at BNIConnect.com, I will find that information out for you and uh, get that over to you. All right, so the next tab over is all of your contact details. And Jennifer, this is going to ask your other question as well about showing your public information. The contact details is basically all the different phone numbers and addresses that you might have. So it has your phone number, direct phone number, home, mobile pager, voicemail, toll-free fax, email, website. So all the information for people to get in touch with you with is listed on this page, as well as all of your social media links, your billing address, and your shipping address. Now what's important to note on this page is a couple of very important things. Up at the top, you'll see an option that says, Show Me on BNI Public Website. If this is checked, then on the regional website, you'll be able to be found. So again, if I go to BNIRI.com, I can go to find a member, search for me, and see my profile. Now all the settings on this page have to do with what is shown on your public profile. So if I don't want to be found at all, I want to opt out of the regional websites altogether, I can uncheck the box that says, Show me on the BNI public website. And if I save that, now if I go back to find a member and I search for my name now, you'll notice that I no longer appear. And if I go to my chapter, which is the Wakefield chapter, you'll notice that I no longer appear in the list for my chapter either. So essentially I'm hidden completely from the BNI public websites here. So I know there's some director consultants on the line with us today. If you notice that the member count might say 49, but there's only 48 entries here, that means that somebody or multiple people in the chapter have that chosen to be hidden from the public website. So I'm going to turn that back on because I do want to be found and click Update. And the rest of these checkboxes, you can choose which of your phone numbers and whether or not you want to share things like your social media links. So again, you, I think you asked uh, Jennifer about you hate to put your cell phone number up on the web. You can uncheck whether or not your mobile number is shown. So if I go here and I uncheck my mobile number and click Update, I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back to my own personal page here. 
you'll see that my cell phone number is now no longer listed here. So you can choose which ones that you put up. As far as the email address goes, the email address will never be displayed publicly here on the regional website. However, we do give people the ability to send you an email message. So I can click on the send message and this will send an email to my real email address. It'll come into my Microsoft Outlook on my computer but it won't display your email address to the other person. But you can choose to turn this function on or off as well. So again, I can choose to not allow people to send mail through the public website if I'd like to, and then that link would not be there anymore. So does that answer your question about privacy, Jennifer? All right. So the next tab is all the different settings in the system. The first section here is your member-to-member -member section. So remember, there's two different areas of BNI Connect. There's the public websites. Again, that's this up here, which is my public profile that anybody with internet access can get to through my regional website. But then there's the logged in portion of BNI Connect that only other members have access to. And again, that's if people find me using this magnifying glass. Now I can choose which of the information I share when people find me on the inside of BNI Connect as well. And that's what these member to member settings are. I can choose whether or not I share the bio tab whether I share my connections, whether I share my testimonials, my picture gallery, whether I display my email address. So again, Jennifer, if you're worried about your email address on the inside of BNI Connect, you can choose not to share it at all, to share it with nobody, to share it with just your connections or with everybody, and also with your other contact details. Scrolling down a little bit, we also have the group email notifications, and that's if you're participating in the discussion groups. How often would you like to be notified that there's new content in the discussion groups? And at the bottom, you can choose whether or not you'd like to be notified about other interactions in BNI Connect, such as if somebody sends you a connection request, would you also like that to come to your regular email as well? The next tab is the bio tab, and this is where it's going to take you a little bit longer to put the information in. The first section is your traditional bio, and this is the bio that we all receive before we do our eight-minute presentation for the first time. Our secretary treasurer usually hands us a piece of paper. Well, if you put that up into BNI Connect, you can kind of set it and forget it, so to speak. Your secretary treasurer would be able to pull the information from here as well. It, give, it gives you the ability to also put a couple of commercials into BNI Connect. And there's some really good reasons for doing that. Uh, the first reason is, is that it can be shown on your profile here in BNI Connect. And that's great because right now there's 145,000 active members in BNI Connect. Now I can guarantee you that probably 144,950 of them will never actually be at one of your personal BNI chapter meetings. That means that your commercials can have visibility to a whole lot more people outside of your chapter. So I would say take some time to put some information into your commercials in order to share that information with a larger group of people. You can also fill out your gains profile, and again, that's the goals, accomplishments, interests, networks, and skills. That way you can review this information with other members before your next one-to-one -one meeting. And finally, we have the TOPS profile, your ideal referral, your top product, top problem solved, favorite BNI story, and ideal referral partner. If you have limited time, either today or when you're going in to do this for the first time, I would recommend filling out your TOPS profile first. And the reason for that is that this is the one that appears on the public profile site. So that will help you with your Google search results. It'll also be visible to many, many more people. I do think it's very important to fill out the rest of the information. But again, if you're limited on the amount of time you have, fill out your TOPS profile first. As with the rest of the pages, if you make any changes, be sure to click the Update button to save those changes. Now, the last two tabs, if you are a director consultant, you can put in uh, director-specific 
information in here as well. And then your training history. Uh, training history will show all of the training events that you've registered for and attended. Now, we don't have the ability to edit this one directly as a member. However, if you find something is missing on one of these lists, then please do contact your regional office, your director consultant or regional admin, executive director, and they'll be able to help you out by getting the uh, trainings added manually to your profile. Okay, we are at the bottom of the hour. I would like to be respectful of everybody's time. And at this point, say, if you do need to leave right away, I would like to thank you for being here today. Just a reminder that this is being recorded. It will be, a made, it will be made available on our YouTube channel. That is youtube.com forward slash BNI Connect Global. Again, youtube.com forward slash BNI Connect Global. It will also be made available on the support site, which you can access by clicking on this question mark here when you're logged into BNI Connect. And it will be in the recorded webinars section. Now, if you found today's webinar helpful, a good referral for me is to please let your other chapter members know about these webinars. We do hold a number of webinars on a monthly basis. The very next one is going to be this Friday at 9 a.m. Pacific, noon Eastern, and we'll be talking about the online slips and referral tracking. So again, a good referral for me is to please let people know about the online slips and referral tracking webinar that is this coming Friday. All right. Now, do we have any other questions? Again, I'm happy to stay on these webinars as long as people have questions. So if you have any questions about this, about the um, profiles here in BNI Connect or where they show or where they display, I would love to entertain those questions now. Or if you have a question on anything else about BNI Connect, I'd also be happy to answer those questions. All right, so we do have another question. Jennifer says, uh, a chapter profile is shown only to the chapter versus regional, which is public. How does it work for New York City, Manhattan? Okay, so there's a couple of different ways that it works. There is, let's say, with, um, with Manhattan. So if I go to manhattanbni.com, this is your regional website. So this is a website that anybody in the world with a connection to the internet has access to. So that means that I can go to this site, I can go to find a member, and again, I don't have to be a BNI member or anything, I can just click on, and let's say I'm going to look for you, Jennifer. I'm going to look for Jennifer, and here's your profile. You're in the Manhattan 01 chapter. I can click on it and I can see your name, I could click on your website, I could send you a message and be able to otherwise contact you. Now, again, this is available to anybody in the world. If I wanted to connect with you as a member, what I'd have to do is do that on the inside of BNI Connect. Now, you are also accessible to the general public and to Google and everybody else through the BNI America website. Now, the, BNI, the Manhattan BNI website only has people from your region, so just people in Manhattan. The America website has all of the members from the United States. So if I wanted to, let's say, find a member here, and I'm doing a search for you, I click Search, And I find you. Uh, you are the same person, and it's the same profile. So again, this is all in the public domain. Now, for BNI members only, we can log into the inside of BNI Connect, and that gives us access to more things than just the public profile. What I do is click on BNI Connect or the BNI Connect link from your Manhattan website, or just go to www.bniconnect.com. And when I first log in, I would see this home page here. Now, to find other members, we actually have the ability 
through the logged in portion of BNI Connect to find any member that's in BNI around the world. So I can do a search for you here, let's say. Now this profile that's just available only to members of BNI is a little bit more in depth. So aside from just this information, which is also shown on those public websites, I can also read things like if you had done your 60 second presentations or gains, I could see those things. I can see who you're connected to, which will by default be everybody from your chapter as well as any additional connections that you've made. I'd be able to see your testimonials and photos and groups and your training history. So those are, it's all additional levels of information that we share with other members here in BNI Connect um, as opposed to just the basic profile information on the public side. So does that, does that clear things up, Jennifer? Excellent. Uh, Lori asks, how do CEUs work for this? Do we attend multiple webinars for one CEU? Uh, this webinar is good for one CEU, so if you need to go, to, go back to your home screen, and my recommendation is, is that you click on the Submit a CEU Slip. Go to Submit a CEU Slip. This counts as a BNI webinar. Put a 1 in the box and click Submit. That way you have a CEU for attending this webinar. And Pam says, uh, can you get access to Antarctica? Pam, if you could, can you please just shoot me a quick email to support at bniconnect.com requesting access to Antarctica, and I will uh, get an application put in for you for the Antarctica region. I have some poll with the uh, membership committee up there, so I'll try to get that expedited for you. I may have to bribe the penguins up there with some fish and snacks, but we'll get that done for you, no problem. All right, that was the last question that I had on my list. Is there any other questions? I would love to answer any questions now. While you're thinking of any last final questions, uh, one final favor is to please I would love it if you could give us a like up on Facebook. If you go to facebook.com forward slash BNI Connect Global, and please give us a like. We do all sorts of things up here as well. We do some um, you know, webinar announcements and reminders and tips and tricks and all sorts of things about BNI Connect up on our BNI Connect Global Facebook page. So, again, I'd love it if you could give us a like there as well. All right, so I think that might be it for the questions. Uh, Jennifer says, very informative. Thank you so much, and you are very, very welcome. Uh, Quentin says, how do I submit again? So what, what are you looking to submit, Quentin? Okay, so if you'd like to submit credit for today's webinar, if you'd like a CEU credit for today's webinar, Click on the Home button. Make sure that you're on My BNI Business page. Click on Submit CEU Slips. And give yourself a 1 under the BNI Webinar category. And then click Submit. All right, and if you'd like to know all about the Online slips, please join us for Friday's webinar where I'm going to go through the entire online slip system uh, for BNI Connect. All right, are there any additional questions? All right, well, as always, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to be here. I greatly appreciate it and I look forward to seeing you on a future webinar. Happy connecting, everyone. Have a great day.